welcome back to more card review. So today we are looking at an Exceed Monster that as of right now is a TCG exclusive. We actually got a card before the OCG and it's a pretty powerful, pretty good card. So today we are looking at Tornado Dragon. So it is a Wind Worm Exceed Effect Monster. Rank 4, 2100 attack, 2000 defense. So stats are pretty good. And you know what's also pretty good? It's generic, yes. Two level four monsters. That's it. No other specific. It's generic. It's awesome. And of course, two level four monsters. Or generic rank four is probably one of the easiest and best monsters to make in the game in Yu-Gi-Oh. So let's find out if this monster is good enough to be considered a stable. So its effect reads: Once per turn, during either player's turn, you can attach one Xeon material from this card and target one spell or trap on the field. Destroy it. They're so fucking good. Oh my god. You guys already know that I love back row popping. I, I can't stand back row. So the fact that I get to just detach Eximitor during either player's turn to pop to, it's just so good. It's just so good. So, of course, we know we have some of our staple XC monsters. So let's go ahead and compare and contrast to a couple of them. So, of course, Castell. Castell is the main home dog. You know, you target a face-up card, and it sucks that, you know, sometimes it sucks. You got to target a face-up card, so your opponent has some set background. You can't really do that. We have another card for that situation. So, make your cast out. You take two cards, make it into one. You next one. But, you get to even out because, of course, when you detach, you spin that card back. Uh, you even out, so you use two cards for one, so you net one. But then your opponent loses a card, so you even out, all right? Diamond Dire Wolf, of course, is the monster that will be handling the back row popping. You know, the set card popping. But the problem is, is that you're using a lot of resources in himself. So you go into Diamond Dire Wolf, unless you have some other type of beast monster, which generally you don't. You just him stand alone. You pop himself, but then proceed to pop a card on your opponent's side of the field. Probably a set piece of back row that, you know, Castell couldn't handle. And while sometimes that's fine and all, sometimes you probably have plenty of resources to even do that play and get away with it, which is fine. Either they're going to use the back row on Diamond Dire Wolf, or Diamond Dire Wolf is going to take the back row with him. It doesn't matter. Uh, just the fact that you can do that uh, is a fairly strong play, but like I said, you're taking, you're taking an egg. You really are, you know. Uh, now you have Tornado Dragon running up in here, and he just shows up and... Like I said, generally the rank four pull, the, the genericness, you you neg, you neg. You get these powerful plays that you generally wouldn't have access to in your toolbox, but you neg. But this guy, this guy on the other hand, he's actually really good. Of course, he is 100 attack higher than Castell. So, I mean, that's petty. So, if your opponent goes into a Castell, you could just go into a Tornado Dragon and run over their Castell. But uh, just the fact that I take two level four monsters, generic, who cares, XC into this guy detach, pop a background, and then during your turn as well. Uh, this card would be good if you just detach and pop the background. The fact that it de that during either player's turn, so it's a quickie, it just makes it so much better. It really does. So I'm going to attach my two XC materials to pop two of your background, all right? So that means that I use two monsters to make one. So I went neck one, but I popped two of yours, which means I went two of you, so I went plus one. It's not very often that you go plus one over your opponent with XC monster, you're supposed to be taking the neg, you know? You neg to make a stronger monster. But the fact that I go plus one over you and I get to pop back row during either player's turn, this card is so goddamn good. So goddamn good. It really is, you know? Uh, I would definitely put it as a staple in the extract, definitely, you know? I, I Pretty much, Diamond Dire Wolf, you're kind of out of a job. I'm, I'm going to say that right now, you know? It's nice that... The only thing that Diamond Dire Wolf can still do over what Castell and this can't really handle, it, I guess, would be popping set monsters. But, eh. If there's a set monster, I don't know, maybe it's a, like a flip monster that I'm worried about. Uh, Utopia the Lightning, attack. You can't activate its flip effect. So, you know, like, really, really. So, if it's a set monster, I'll Utopia the Lightning. If it's a face-up card that, you know, uh, is not a spell or trap, Castell. And if, of course, if it's a spell or trap, Tornado Dragon, you know? So, I, I think, in my opinion, Diamond Dire Wolf got put out of the job. He really did. Uh, just Tornado Dragon is just so much better. He's, this card's awesome, you know? Uh, it's shit, going first, you know? I, I put him up there with the uh, likes of, uh, of Abyss Dweller. You know, it's sure it's a card that you want to bust out first because you want to negate them. Uh, graveyard effects, you want to go into first turn Tornado Dragon, so you can go ahead and... Go first, pop, crack the pendant scales before they get set up, crack, uh, you know, that, that Zodiac Barrage. Like, this card is just so good. And you guys already know how much I love, you know, Twin Twisters and uh, that, that 
heavy dust storm, you know, pop in the background. But I always have access to it. And that's what makes this card just so much better is that as long as I just have two level four monsters, this card will literally be sitting in my extra deck. It's literally, it might as well just say like, hey, go ahead, go in your deck, grab a twin twister and add it to your hand because I mean, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing here. And that is just wonderful. So I love this card. I, I love this card. And it's just interesting that we got this card in the TCG for OCG and just how powerful it is. Of course, it is a secret rare in Maximum Crisis. So if you pull it, I don't know how much this card will be worth, but it seems like it's going to be one spicy meatball because this card is good and it seems like it's going to be a staple in a lot of people's extra decks. But yeah, this card is really great. So that's pretty much all I'd say about Tornado Dragon. I love it. I think it's an awesome card. Tell me what you guys think about Tornado Dragon in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Of course, I'll be back on Wednesday with another card to look at. So thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe button, bell for notifications. And of course, I will be back with some more cards to look at and some more Yu-Gi-Oh! content tomorrow. All right, people. Thanks for watching.